so I received a very good question, very good comment that I, that I wanted to address. And this is why I am so adamant at using uh, for using proper terms. I'm not trying to be a pain in the butt and be correcting people and be a smart, you know, ass, whatever. <laughs> it's just this is really, really important because this is what can happen. OK, so this um, person said to me yesterday, I used Orly Cutique for the first time in over a year. I stopped using it because whenever I did use it, it always ended up ruining my PNF. So this is short for proximal nail fold. So the skin around the nails and I'll show you everything in just a second. And so after having really taken care of my nails and skin with lots of jojoba oil since last year, I was really proud of myself and picking uh, at the PNF nowhere near as much as I used to. And I was using just the glass cuticle pusher to take care of uh, the PNF and cuticles. The cutic yesterday has ended up ruining my skin again. I had to trim so much off to help it. And my fingers are sore. I'm so upset. Okay, cutting skin is never good. Is it possible that my skin is just too fragile or that I might in fact be allergic to the chemicals? These chemicals are not very allergenic, but they are very irritating. Okay, I'll get back to it. This is super important. Is it okay to just stick used to using the glass pusher from now on? I look forward to your response. Yeah, for sure. It's okay. Removing cuticle is purely cosmetic and it's optional. So let's just very quickly look at the ingredients of the orly okay so they say okay accept cookies whatever uh they say ingredients key ingredients sesame seed oil no the key ingredient is here uh potassium hydroxide this is a lie this is very alkaline um product it's sorry ingredient which is fine um how can i assist you <laughs> no uh, but is very effective so anything that's effective can be also damaging right and by the way my goodness if you haven't seen the video this video here how to remove okay how to remove the cuticle this video that it's um that i'm talking about please see it i'm so proud of this video because i don't know i just did a very good jo job i think explaining what's what so let's look at the ingredients so the first ingredient is water um, that is very common the second ingredient is potassium hydroxide so that's very alkaline which it lowers sorry it raises the ph level so the higher the ph so the our skin is around 5.5 so um so it's slightly acidic seven is neutral so this one can be up to i think 11 or something so this is very alkaline and what it does it actually breaks up it swells and breaks up the skin so then you can remove it. So they say to use it, hold on, um, cuticle softener and stain remover. Um, the stain remover thing, I'll get back to it if I remember, but I don't recommend it because it can break up the nail too, but gently and effectively removes excess tissue at the cuticle. What do you mean? Removes the nail stain, leaving nails looking clean and bright. Okay, uh, so they say how to use it somewhere else. I see that you leave it on for 30 seconds uh, to, to uh, 60 seconds. And then what? Wipe it off? No. What happens is this product is going to swell up the cuticle so you can remove it. But... What I do is I recommend leaving it on as recommended. So every product is different. I use uh, the Blue Cross and I leave it on for two minutes. I find that to be the most effective. And then really important, I rinse it off with plenty of water to neutralize, to stop the alkaline solution to uh, irritate the the skin because it usually gets on the skin as well a little bit and you also don't want it to basically damage the nail because the nail and the skin are similar they're not the same but they're similar so it's going to soften up the skin but you don't want for this product to be sitting on the nail for a very long time because it can then damage and soften up the nail as well so now this is why it is so important to know what is what so as we're looking at this nail so when usually people say cuticle i would say i have to do this test one but i uh, this test once when people say cuticle it's the the usually thing is like this 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 vague area it's here right so what do they do they put it on the skin 
the cuticle this is skin fold this is a skin fold this is not a cuticle the cuticle is here okay these dead skin cells here so what you want to do is you want to be quite precise and you want to put it on the cuticle and you want to leave it on the cuticle not on the skin don't smear it all around the skin why would you be why would you be uh, irritating the skin around the nails we're not trying to remove the skin which a lot of people do um, but this is a living skin this is a skin fold now the cuticle actually is a seal when dermatologists talk about the seal not to remove the seal blah blah I kind of agree but then they call, call this part a cuticle this is not a cuticle it's a skin fold so what is the function of the cuticle the function of the cuticle is it's a seal seal joins two surfaces together in this case it joins the skin fold which actually is a fold so let's imagine this folded okay so it joins this and the nail okay so in between there is cuticle so these little cells are the sticky cells the substance that keeps the skin fold and the nail together. So it's a seal. Now, once the nail grows, the seal starts peeking through and starts to grow with the nail. So this, it's not crawling up the nail, it's actually growing with the nail. So once it's past that fold, it's not, this is not sealing anything. This is just sitting dead skin cells on a nail. So it is safe, in my opinion, to gently nudge back the skin fold, very gently. It's okay to obviously take care of the skin so it's nice and elastic. It can, it can sit nicely around the nails. So you can nudge it back. You can put the cuticle remover on the cuticle here. You can wait however long it says on the package. Then please rinse it. Um, there was a person on in one of my um, videos, she was talking about how to neutralize the cuticle remover to use some citric acid or, or something acidic to neutralize it. In my opinion, and well, who cares about my opinion? Chemists, <laughs> I'm not a chemist, um, say that it is sufficient to just rinse it or you can even wash it off, uh, off with some soap and water. Normally, actually, soaps are pretty alkaline, so it's not helping. But washing it or rinsing it with plenty of water is going to neutralize. It's going to neutralize it. So then it stops working. And then, then the skin, what I do is I don't dry it like bone dry. I leave it a little bit wet. So then I can gently remove the cuticle from the nail plate. I do one hand at a time. So um, that way um, I have the time to work on it properly. So now what's the, the person that um, wrote to me? Obviously she knows the channel, she has the information and um, I don't know what happened. Maybe she was just very generous with the product. She kind of smeared it maybe all over the place. Potassium hydroxide is a very irritating ingredient. So it could be that it, she has a very sensitive skin and it could have irritated. And, you know, when you overdo these ingredients, your skin can even blister. So be careful with those ingredients. Or she said she didn't tell me how she removed it. Maybe she just wiped it off and wiping it off is not enough. You have to remove it with plenty of water these products are wonderful they're they're safe to um to use but you have to use them correctly you have to have respect for these products and just use them correctly and use them in the correct area and this is why it's so important to know that this is not a cuticle this is cuticle don't put it on the skin put it on the cuticle and then you're gonna be okay if you learn something new please um if you can just drop a comment below and let me know if this was like <laughs> very interesting to you uh, because to me, this is one of the most important things um, when it comes to nail care, to know exactly what the cuticle is, what its function, and what the, the skin is, the skin fold. Okay, one more thing that really confuses me. So um, she said, I had to trim so much off to help it and my fingers are sore. Well, they're sore because probably you cut the skin. But why would you think, and I'm not trying to be mean or, you know, whatever. It's just I'm trying to understand. 
if the skin was irritated and sore, cutting it off is not going to help. Uh, when this happens to you, what I would recommend, the first thing that I would recommend probably is just Vaseline or Aquaphor or something like that. If the skin around the nails is sore, swollen, anything like that, um, don't use cuticle removers. That's going to make it worse. Absolutely. Uh, just use Vaseline until the skin is okay, until it heals. And then what I recommend is daily use of some sort of acid. Okay, so <laughs> I know it sounds terrible, but lactic acid, glycolic acid, even salicylic acid, like even face cream. If you have a face cream or like a serum that has um, an acid, uh, acids are very beneficial to the nails and the skin. It, they help the skin to shed off the, um, the dead skin cells. So the, the cuticle will come off much easier when you use um, an exfoliant on a regular basis. Just be careful. I mean, obviously with sun exposure and all that. Um, I also recommend carousel. I'm going to show, show you another video, a few tricks and tips. This is the video here, Three Simple Habits. It has 1.2 million views. I'm so proud of myself. Anyway, watch this video, three minutes, and it's going to explain how to use the carousel, a wonderful product. And by the way, I'm never going to finish this video. By the way, uh, the Orly Cutique is an excellent product. I love it. It's my second favorite um, cuticle remover after the Blue Cross. I would say I used Orly Cutique for years and years before I discovered Blue Cross. Um, there are many good cuticle removers on the market. This one is good. So nothing wrong with Orly Cuticle Remover. Please don't be scared. Just use it properly. Use it with respect. Okay.